Hey, guys. I'm coming to you from this bed. Because you're about to talk matters sex. <laughs> Who is in Missy? Let me see. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? Let me see who is in. I see some of you. We are live. Pauline Werimo, hi, nice to be here. Thank you, Karibu Sana. Yay, Pauline Karibu Sana. Wow. Let's see who else is joining. Anyone I don't know here and they know me, just lift your hand. <laughs> Amisa Kamala, hi, hi. Hi, Hamisa. Hope you, you're doing okay. Hope you guys are doing fine and you're keeping it safe and focused and positive, you know, with COVID-19 and all that. It's good to just make sure you you're going okay. The title has me watching. Yes, Writer's Fantasy. Hello. Esther Mwango. Hi. Who? Karibu Nisana. So I decided to just talk about it's Zena. Hi, girl. Hi. By the way, if you've not subscribed, kindly just make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I'm just here to catch up with you guys. Eva Wavinya. Hi, Frida. Hi. Hi, Eva. Hope you're doing okay. So the title is Njoki Kanyere, Frida, hi, hi. So I decided to talk about sex today because yesterday I had a conversation with my sister. You know, we women talk. I can see most of guys who are online already are women. <laughs> Apart from Freddy. Freddy, I know you're online. Somehow I feel like you're online. You're here. So um, we were talking yesterday with my sister and she mentioned that they were having a conversation with a friend of hers who is also a cop we have been we are back okay they are talking about sex can you guys hear me am i loud enough am i clear enough let me hear on the comment section guys can you hear me can you see me well i could be here talking and i'm alone loud and clear thank you jockey so we were talking about sex you know we women can really really talk about sex by the way this is me without makeup you can see i have black spots on this face of mine <laughs> so they were talking about uh we were talking me and my sister were talking about sex matters and just how easy it is so i want as we talk you guys can believe in comment there how easy it is nowadays to just get sex whether you're a man you're a woman is just a phone call it's just a whatsapp text it's just something and you're out there having sex okay so that was a conversation and my sister mentioned something that got me thinking so she said uh they were having a conversation with a friend of hers and the guy was like by the way miss queasy um nowadays i've gotten to a point where i don't cut your women anymore and my sister was like what do you mean you don't cut your men anymore and I look the same without makeup. We didn't notice. <laughs> right as fantasy. <laughs> Good to know. So my sister was like, what do you mean um, you don't cut your women anymore? And the guy was like, it's very easy. I mean, there's no woman I cut here that doesn't in gear my box. There's no woman I hit on that does not say yes to me. So I'm at that point where I'm like, why would I waste my time? Why would I waste my money? Um, I don't feel the vibe anymore. He doesn't feel the vibe of hitting on women anymore because it's like any woman you go for, they're in for it. It's easy to get a woman nowadays. It's it's not a hassle. And the guy was saying, since I'm, I'm naturally made to be a hunter, like I have to go and chase there, when I don't have to chase, it doesn't bring any joy to me anymore. So that was a conversation they were having. And I was like, wait a minute. 
Kwani, what kind of women is this guy hitting on? And my sister was like, by the way, it's not just at just any any kind of a woman. I sent a link. Wow. Um, okay, I'll try send a link to the group. Guys, just just come to my to hey, I don't know how to do this. Can I send a, I'll try and send a link anyway to the WhatsApp group of YouTubers. But anyway, just come on to my channel. Of course, you're going to find me there. So the guy was like, I don't feel the excitement of chasing um, women anymore. It's not there. You just need to buy them lunch and you have whatever you want. They don't even want to know what you want. They don't even want to know whether you're married or not. connecting. Okay, we're back. So all they want is, oh, you want me? You want to see me? There's so much available. And it doesn't take like a month or two. It takes days or just a few Oh, thank you, Jockey. Please send them the link for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it doesn't take him much to just just have sex with women. It's very easy. And then he, had, he went ahead and said, because I was asking my sister, Kwani, what kind of women is this guy hitting on? So he was like, uh, and by the way, even the women who you look at and you're like, wow, there's a woman who has a shit together, her shit together. There's a woman who really knows what is going on there's a woman who really she knows like she really knows what she's doing she looks like she has a clue of what really is happening in her life only to realize they don't even know who they are they don't even know what value they hold they don't even care what they want in life they don't sometimes they don't even know their goals their vision so you are like okay this is what i thought about this woman so i was like this is a woman who's going to pull me who is going to push me who is going to give me all the things i want who is going to you know make me a better man who is going to help me think together but hey you are stuck there with a the woman and within a few seconds you are all doing it you're in this sex thing and it just it just got me thinking guys how available is sex to you I can see we're mostly we're women here. How available is sex to you? Like, have you ever gotten, if you're a woman, have you ever gotten to a point where writer's fantasy is very unfortunate, but very true. I have also had this conversation. Seems people have lost. Yes, we've lost that. We've lost the need to see partners based on their values and visions. I agree. I agree. Sex has also been commercialized a lot. I agree. Totally agree with you, writer's fantasy. Because... The other day, I actually wrote something on my status, WhatsApp status, and I was like, I have these guys, either it's me, either I'm having a problem, or there's just a problem out there. There's this guy who was like, oh, I want to meet you. For a very long time, he's been like, I want to meet you, I want to know you, I want to know all those kind of things. And then, he was like, what we do is we meet somewhere, have a chat, talk, take a drink, it could be juice, it could be whatever it is, and just get to know each other. And I'm like, okay, that's that's a good thing. Then it's like, I'll look for a hotel. We will get like a place, a nice place, you know, a quiet place. We just get to talk and know each other. And this is a guy who for a very long time I used to think is someone, because he's in the creative world, is someone we can actually think together. Okay, we're back. So he was like, okay, so we can go and spend there. I was in Akuru. So I'm like, why are we spending in Akuru? You in Akuru, I'm in Akuru. I have a house, you have your house. We just go meet, talk, have a chat, and then we go back home. And the guy was like, why would we meet and go back home? And I'm like, why, Kwani, why are we meeting? And he's like, you know, spend some time there, be there for some time, and, you know, leave the following day. So I decided to just get to know exactly what it is that he wanted. And I got to realize that all he wanted is let's meet, act like we actually get to know each other. But all I need is to just have sex with you. And one thing I actually thank him for is he was very open to me to say that's that's all I need more. So if we are not doing it, then we better not waste time. And he was like, if we are not going to have sex, why do we have to go to a good place? I'm like, guys, do you have to go to a good place for you to... Do you have to have sex for you to really be in a good place? Like, you can't just go somewhere and just chill and have wine and have a glass of juice and take pizza and um go mountain climbing and you just just do things that are adventurous for you you, you is it that a thing anymore 
I mean, where are we headed? Why is sex so available today? And I want to hear in the comment section, guys. Why is it we women or is it men too that have an issue with sex? What is happening? Is it us women that needs to learn to say no quite more or is it... I, I don't know. Let me let me just hear. Have you encountered such things or such people who are like, ah, me, it's just, it's sex. It's just sex. Do you just feel like, like it's just sex? Like, it's just sex. Sex is not a big deal. It's just sex. Because to me, I think sex is something that is holy. I don't know whether holy is the right word, but something that you just need to not just have it with everybody. It's literally you're opening up your body your soul your time your your nakedness to somebody you need to do this with somebody who you quite value i think in my thinking maybe i'm old school i i don't know i really don't know how we're gonna do this because it's irritating and for us women who are looking for husbands and looking into dating and getting to know people it can be a little hard i want to know your values i want to know what tickles you i want to know what makes you happy i want to know your five years goals i want to know where we are headed i want to know where you want to be 10 years from now i want to know what you want in life those are the kind of thing that for me really attracts me to people sex is is the end thing <laughs> so when i hear people just thinking that we're just having sex i'm like no we're not having sex we are connecting in a very very deep way i mean I, I don't know guys i would like to know i like to get your views on this topic how available is sex to you just how available is sex to you and as a woman and a man or a, a man how do you feel about this sex issue uh being made to feel like it's 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 just sex it's just it's just like flipping this book and reading you know it's not a big deal what's your thoughts on that guys and that's why i actually came live because when a man gets to a point where he feels like i don't need to look for a woman i don't need to chase because it doesn't feel exciting anymore because everybody is available for sex within a single minute within a call sometimes they actually they will call you to their house they'll be like oh you want to meet me so you can come to my house like have we gotten there women have we really gotten there are you still old school? If you're watching this, are you still old school? Like, uh, are you there where you feel like, hey, manze, me, me, you, you're going to chase me. If you're a woman, you're going to chase me. Or if you're a man, do you feel like it's okay to just go for a woman you want and find that in them? Esther Mwango is saying, to be honest, sex is losing its meaning, its value, well known nowadays. It's even, I know, right? We've lost it's we've lo it's lost its value and it doesn't feel like that thing anymore it doesn't feel anything of a big deal you know we're just we're just here chilling and so let's just have sex and for us who are not millennials <laughs> millennials i really feel for you and i really pray that if you're a millennial you get to get a mentor or the people who you follow are people who you can actually trust and who have morals because we are living in a world where millennials and teenagers and young girls and boys are having sex left right and center without really caring and all they think about is as long as i don't get pregnant i'm good to go you know as long as you don't get pregnant you don't get pregnant for me ah, we're good to go there are diseases they are soul ties you guys believe in soul ties by the way am i am i the only one in this like i just feel like the more you keep having sex with people, different people, you carry a lot of baggage, you carry a lot of issues, you know, from them because there's a deep kind of connection. So I'm like, if you're a millennial, if you're a teenager, if you're just growing up, you don't have to fit in, you don't have to have sex to fit in. Okay, hey, it's, it's tough out here. And if you're a man, I don't know whether we have any man tuned in or anyone who's going to watch this is going to go this is going to be uploaded let me hear how easy is it for you to get sex from women and have you tried to like 
look at these women who are like eh hey, huyu anakaa i am i am values zangu na zake aziambatani na inza ongea kiswahili hapa values zangu na zake aziambatani but then you get to realize when you get to know them you get to realize it's actually as easy as any other woman out here how easy is it to have sex nowadays and do you are you is is it a big deal to really just go having sex with 10 people 30 people i listened to edgar talk about sex the other day i agree with you once told a group of guys that and they all laughed at me soul ties so joki you believe in soul ties too i know men actually i don't think men believe in soul ties when edgar did this story of soul ties on his crew on his chat in status on instagram most women were like i believe in soul ties and i think it's something that can really drain you and all that you carry a lot of baggage when you keep just having sex but men were like hey people have just made this sex look like it's a big deal it's just sex but i'm thinking it's one act that god was really particular about so it means it's it's a big deal if it's a big deal to god and i think it's need to be a big deal to us so we need to just my thinking my opinion is we need to really we are not supposed to just sit there and just think sex is just sex i don't think sex is just sex otherwise why would people be so connected to a very toxic relationship that you know really well you know very well that you need to leave but you just can't leave because the moment you've been having sex with these people it takes time to let go it takes time to disconnect and that's where i am so that guy saying that he can't chase women anymore he's just done chasing because there's no fun in it it's easy to get whatever woman you want so he was like let me just sit that day i feel like i want to have sex i'll just call somebody and they definitely will be available it's it's so it's so it really makes me feel so heartbroken guys it just makes me so feel so heartbroken that i don't even know what world i'm going to bring my daughter if i ever get one like where will where are you gonna grow up in how what life are we bringing our kids into and why are we making sex look like it's taking water it's flipping a page in a book you know and then we walk out here broken uh bitter with so much baggage you know so much baggage and then we keep transferring our bag taking time to reconnect okay we are back looking like they are strong they are looking like you know they got it all together until you get to know them and you realize they are damaged and this is both men and women they are damaged they are bitter they are hurting and so how they get rid to them how they get rid of this hurting is not to look for therapy is not to search within themselves is not to do the things that make them happy you know hobbies and all those things but is to get for the next person to sleep with and if you become if you're at that, that one person who is readily available you get to be the person who helps them you know offload that feeling of i'm lonely i am not feeling okay i'm depressed so you get to have sex with them and the next thing you know you also not okay you keep sleeping around and you also not okay well i think i can sound controversial i'm that person who can really be very controversial I look at life quite different and it can get personal to some people but I think I think we need to look at sex differently. We really need to look at sex differently. If you're married, I'll for God's sake have as much sex as you, as you want. Actually, I keep saying the moment I'll get married, I'll better get married to a husband who will value sex. that he will look at it as something i really need to have it with my wife and that wife will be me and i will have as much sex as possible when i'm married but when you're out here and you're sleeping with a million people man man i had some guys mention on edgar's stories that uh jenga shiri you're here karibu sana mentioned that i'm 22 years old i've slept with like 50 people and counting i'm in the last one month i've slept with 70 and i have others on the pipeline yani even people have people have people on the pipeline like i want to next time i'm sleeping with this girl next time i'm sleeping with this guy ah guys guys cheers 
how available is sex to you leave me a comment how available is sex to you how do you find sex out here how available is it and have you had conversations with your friends with your family with people close to you about sex you know and and do you believe in soul ties do you believe in healing and trying to find yourself before you can even get to a point where you're connecting with people also when it comes to dating what's your take on sex when it comes to dating i love to hear that i love to that we need to to really take it as a serious thing and take it wholly and i think this is my thinking if we women learn to say no quite often then our men will up our games and that's why i'm thinking i'm not blaming women here but i'm just saying we have so many single mothers today because we've gotten to a point where very few men really care much about that family that kid you know i slept with you we didn't use a cd or maybe whatever happened and you got a baby and i'm like i wasn't ready for a baby i wasn't ready for a baby and so what i'm gonna do is move to the next woman who is frida who is readily available and does not even want to know what baggage i'm carrying because they don't even take time to know me and we he hit it again get another baby move on to the next thing the next person is let's say mary and mary is here who is also available for me one night do you know within within a few months if you're not careful you could get like yeah very true this is how dead beats are created yeah right fantasy i agree with you and then we sit down and start to complain i'm thinking it's two way we have men we have women here let's just be a little bit more responsible you know so that we also bring a society where we are all balanced lucy hi frida hi lucy karibu sana where we are balanced um we know what we want and if it's just if if we want to create a society where we have a strong foundation then we need to create a society where we value family and we value the core things that make us us hello sex is a topic that is rarely spoken about where i come from i know shayla right it rarely spoken about in fact we just just mention it and just sweep it off the carpet and we are done yet it's the monster it's actually the monster in the society today it's the monster teenagers having sex right left centers pregnancies abortions it's crazy it's crazy and if we continue like this man i don't know i don't know where we are headed i don't know anyone who is here and is not married and is just feeling like if every man i'm looking for sylvia nicolai <laughs> i don't <laughs> sorry that's my sister's money to love and take care of and you know be there for them support them respect them but these husbands all they need to do is just click on whatsapp and say hi and they have sex available so when we fight you know there are people who when they fight what they do is run they get off the fight they get off the the whatever it is conversation you're having and like i just want to cool off and how they cool off is they go out there and they get somebody else who at that point is like i've been waiting for this guy <laughs> and bam sex so you argue with your husband or your boyfriend for like two weeks okay two weeks you've just argued for like two weeks or let's say a day and then in two weeks you've been fighting fighting kevin hello hi everyone hi kevin karibu sana so you'll be arguing for like a day and by the time you guys get back in like let's say two weeks is when probably you solved your issues you're back six months later there's a baby that is being brought to you <laughs> there's there's a lady somewhere who got pregnant in that that one day that one day that you guys quarreled and they left for a minute and they went to you know let me cool off let me cool off let me go to the club and they found frida who has been like i don't really care what sex is and boom there's a baby so now you're like you you know you you finished your act as a man and you're back to your wife now you have a baby to deal with you solved your issues you're now on recovery six months months down the line there's a pregnant woman 
simply because you never valued sex because if you really valued sex you'd have taken time to cool off and be like eh, this man's jonke and i for a long time this woman seems really well so maybe maybe i need to calm down maybe i need to take time before getting to a point where i can actually have sex with them hello hanais radol karibu sana umechelewa tuko sawa tutaendelea tu so um imagine now having to deal with another a baby six months on the line when you two were trying to get your shit together after a heated argument and the guy is like aki 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 it was just it was not intended you know i was just mad i just yeah you are you're dealing with a baby and now you have to deal with your wife and a baby mama are we getting this guys you have to deal with a wife and a baby mama that came because you could not zip it up or that came because the girl there did not think of nowadays even protection is it does no longer exist it's just let's have sex you don't even need a Maggie, koi tv hey hey karibu sana so man guys mm, i think sometimes we are having all these deadbeat dads and all these single mothers because well it's not all cases but because someone somewhere did not really value sex because if you valued sex you not go having it with everybody if you not go having it with everybody so that was my thoughts and i want to hear guys how available is sex to you how available is it to you how easy is it to get sex if you wanted it have you ever tried your people the people you have around you like just kuapima maji kuapima maji could you like what what what's their take on sex i am very good at picking people's brains like i really love to hear people's side of story like i'm very good at engaging people like let's talk what's your what's your take on sex before marriage what's your take on sex when you're courting what's your take on sex with married people all that kind of a thing just to hear what people are thinking out here because why guy hmm so i said this is going to be 30 minutes and we are 30 minutes gone now it's 29 minutes uh i just wanted to catch up with you guys and just get to know what you think of sex availability in the era we are living today even your, your the teenagers you have around you uh, married people married people out here how easy is it for you to get sex from a single woman or a single guy how easy is it what do you need to give some little coins some a dinner somewhere <laughs> a treat somewhere a staycation somewhere and whoop, you're good to go so this was like a stop by kind of a video thank you to everyone that came on board and supported me i really appreciate you i really am glad that you joined in um i want to go to motindoa anyone who's been in motindoa here <laughs> or anyone in nairobi we could link up by the way anyone who is in nairobi and is available before I go back to Nakuru, we could link up and have a talk and just catch up. Maybe we could talk, talk more about sex. <laughs> ah, thank you, kids. You're welcome. Thank you also for tuning in. Thank you, Radol. Thank you, Maggie, Shayla, writers, fantasy, everybody who's just tuned, tuned in. And Meshkuru, Meshkuru, Meshkuru. I've not been very active on YouTube. I feel like I have a burnout. So that's why I actually came to Nairobi, just to cool off take like three days off normal life and youtube can be a hassle at am here utani nunulia nini kime nda kutafta nda kutafta we'll figure out tuliza kula mutura so uh i just came to nairobi to just cool off and get back i did not even carry my laptop so i'm i'm not even gonna edit any video i'll be back to nakuru tomorrow but i don't think i'm posting any video on my youtube channel this week i'm just like cooling off and finding my balance again before i can get back sometimes burnout can who can really drain you without knowing anyone who is experiencing burnout let me hear in the comment section with you sometimes kevin kwanza you need to log <laughs> what has been happening with you anyone who is just feeling like it's just a burnout you don't even know what to do you're like i just need a break i need to cool off and be back when i'm ready go for it go for it i'll just tell you go for it just don't take too long go for it and just come back when you're ready okay 
thank you guys if you're not subscribed kindly do so yeah see you on my next video that is gonna happen next week but one because i don't think i'm posting anything this week but yeah that's it let me just call it a day and wishing you all the best be good stay safe stay good stay positive wear a mask corona bado eco here <laughs> but just be good i mean i will be going cash or in too soon always need lots of break i know right sheila yeah it's, it's okay to take to take a break it's okay by the way to take a break it's okay don't feel guilty we don't actually don't feel guilty about it if you feel like it's a break oh take a break if you feel like uh you've been working out nini you're feeling good but you just feel like i just need to take that one bottle of soda once in a while it's not gonna hurt take it take it so that's where i am right now and my cooling off is in my sister's place i could have to napiga story feel better then go back to nakuru so yeah that's what's been happening it's, it was good catching up with you guys bye